Prince Harry could use his and Meghan Markle's new European home to escape the USA for certain occasions, a royal expert believes. Earlier this week, news broke that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had purchased a new home in Europe, specifically in Portugal. Following their brand new purchase there has been widespread speculation as to why they have chosen to purchase a European base and what this means for Harry going forward. Speaking to the Palace Confidential podcast about the move, Daily Mail's diary editor Richard Eden believed that it could become a way for Harry to reconnect with friends in the UK who he would now be much closer to. Mr Eden suggested, maybe Portugal is somewhere where Harry can escape to with a bunch of his mates. He's lost touch with a lot of old friends as well from Britain but if he says then, come on, why don't you come join me in Portugal for a few days? According to the Daily Mail, the new purchase is not thought to be a replacement base for Harry and Meghan's Montecito property but will act as a holiday home instead. What's more, the couple's decision to buy some real estate in Europe moves them slightly closer geographically to one of Harry's cousins, Princess Eugenie. She owns a property with her husband Jack Brooksbank in nearby Melodies. Despite the apparent newfound locality of the two properties, it is not known whether this was a factor in Harry and Meghan's decision to purchase in Portugal. Richard commented there could be pragmatic reasons for choosing Portugal. He said, one thing that is very intriguing is, certainly until quite recently, Portugal had a deal whereby buying property you could obtain what they were describing as a golden visa. Now that gives unrestricted access through Europe. Harry and Meghan's decision to buy a house in Portugal has once again raised questions about what this means for the former's own future relationship with senior members of the royal family given the country's proximity to the UK. However, Mr Eden also suggested that the new house could be part of a rival royals planned by the Sussexes so that the pair became the rival royals across the water. He explained that this could be to do with the golden visa, adding, acquiring a golden visa would help Meghan as she and her husband develop their plans to become the rival royals across the water, enabling them to travel easily through European countries. We have already seen them undertake quasi-royal tours of Nigeria and Colombia. And it may be that Harry's cousin Princess Eugenie and her husband, Jack Brooksbank, who also own a Portuguese property, join their rival royal court. However, this is only speculation, and some commentators are holding out hope that Harry may one day make a successful return home on a more permanent basis. Royal commentator Jenny Bond said earlier this year that Harry had not burned all his bridges with the British public, and that he could still return on positive terms. Jenny told OK. I don't think Harry has burned all his bridges with the British public. There's something about Harry that remains quite charming and engaging. His many attacks on his family will never be forgotten, but perhaps they can eventually be forgiven, by enough people, anyway to make him welcome here. He is forging a different way of service as he puts it, and that's the path I think he will continue on while Meghan pursues more commercial activities.